Good evening and welcome back. Oh, well, actually, 5:56. Well, I'll say evening because, well, because it's my video and I'll say what I want. In this case, it's almost evening, so technically it is evening. So, anybody with a cell phone, anybody get their emergency alert test? I did. I'm sure most everybody else did. They should have had it by now already. So, BC would have been the last province to get it, so... I'm assuming everybody has had their... biannual emergency alert test. I knew it was coming, it's just kind of... when it happens, like, Oh! Oh! Okay! A little bit of a wake. How do you do? And how do you do? It's 22 degrees outside. Can you believe it? Plus, it's been 19. It, it felt a little, it felt more like 24 or 25 than it was 22. But what the hell do I know? It's supposed to get real nice. Yeah. It's supposed to get pretty warm coming this weekend, too. Supposedly, we're going to hit 30 and get into the 30s. Yeah, probably. I don't think we really need it that hard. We just need some rain. I wouldn't mind if it rained for a couple, three days. We really need it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying this until we actually get some rain. Because we actually do need it. Yahoo's, okay, yeah. anyways. Yesterday's Jeopardy category was historic trails for 600 bucks. Answer, you can still see wheel ruts along this 2,000 mile long route used by Pine Eaters heading west to the Willamette Valley. I said Oregon Trail. Well, I figured Oregon Trail, and it was. What is the Oregon Trail? So there's that. Today's Jeopardy category, and we're finishing off the Jeopardy round. Also historic trails for a thousand. Answer. This National Scenic Trail in the eastern U.S. passes through 14 states and eight national forests. And I think, I might have mentioned this the other day, and it was my answer was wrong, but in this case, I think it is the Appalachian Trail. I remember saying that Clara Hughes had actually walked the Appalachian Trail, the whole thing. Oof. And I remember asking her if she'd do it again. She was like, no way. Ask her yourself. If you see this and you find Clara Hughes on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, ask her. Do you remember walking the Appalachian Trail? And what was it like? She'll tell you. Through 14 states, that is a... It looks so small on the map, but it looks so, but it's so damn ugly. Like, Jesus. That's a several month trip at least. There's a trail as you. 2,800 miles. Yeah, yeah, I could do it in a week. I don't think you can. See, I'm looking at my closet. I'm changing the subject. I'm looking at my closet now. I had like. Three. Reusable bags full of reusable bags. And then I'm asking one of my neighbors if she had need any. She's like, I'm always eating. I'm like, give me five minutes. Grab what I had. It's like, brought him over. And she says she needs him for her businesses and for other things. Like, well, there you go. Three bags full of, three reusable bags full of reusable bags. Like, yeah, might as well get rid of them. Now that's also why I get from uh, bringing the, the one that I've got. And the, well, we don't have it. We haven't used plastic bags for over a year now. Yeah, I think print. I don't know if all Saskatchewan's barred plastic bags, but I know Prince Albert. It's like, yeah, no more plastic bags.
Reuse. I don't mind the reusable bags, really. But that's me. That's just me. But, so I'm gonna go admire my the space in my closet now and figure out what else I can get rid of. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. See what else I can get rid of. I see a Christmas tree that I like using. A little mini pool table. Hmm, I wonder what I can do with that. In the meantime, in between time, stay tuned.